evolution of all thought. We want to talk to you about how a vibration becomes a thought and then becomes almost simultaneously the manifested version of the thought, which is the first manifestation that we want to talk with you about, which is the emotion that comes once you are in the vibrational vicinity of translating the vibration into something that means something to you. Did you get all of that? An emotion means something to you. When you start feeling it, that means you're translating the vibration of it. When you feel anything, whether it feels good or whether it feels not good, you are translating vibrations. And so you are already understanding at a vibrational level. You're already understanding the mix of vibrations that you've got going on. The better it feels, the more you are leaning in the direction of who you really are and what you really want and all that you've become. The worse that it feels, the more you are leaning in the other direction. So stay with us just for a moment. So there is a vibration. And let's say that this vibration is about what source knows in this moment about you. And just for fun in this conversation, let's pretend that you have no clue about that. You're worthy and you don't know it. You are blessed beyond anything that you even come close to knowing and you don't know it. There is so much vibrationally about you that let's say you are in this moment unaware of. Maybe you've never been aware of it. Maybe you're just ornery and not aware of it right now. But you're not aware of it. It's a vibration that you are not tuned into. You've got your dial set somewhere else. But now, let's say that you've had a good night's sleep. The boat rocked you to sleep. rock a baby. Isn't that nice? So you slept really good. You woke up feeling good. So now, just for fun, let's talk about you being in a good mood. You're in a good mood because you've not been focused upon anything that's put you in a bad mood. And so now, this vibration that you were not perceiving earlier, now you have a better opportunity to perceive it. And so now, a thought occurs to you. Now, that thought is that vibration moving evolving toward the full manifestation that you want and as the idea occurs to you you are the perceiver of the vibration sort of see how that works and then you have a feeling response to that thought feels like a good idea feels like an interesting idea feels like something that you want so that is the vibration being perceived by you so unless you do something to change the momentum of this vibration this vibration will become stronger. It will become more, which means it will become more discernible by you, provided you stay on the vibrational wavelength of it. So let's say you've meditated for a while. Let's say you've quieted your mind. Let's say you've quieted your mind so you've stopped thought, which means you've stopped all resistant thought. So you are right up to speed with the vibration of the source within you. So now, as source knows something, you know it too, just for a moment. You catch that glimpse of it. And unless you say, where'd that come from? That was weird, and talk yourself out of it. You are a perceiver of what source knows about things that matter to you. And so, if you don't do anything to add resistance to the equation that is happening because of what you're focused upon, law of attraction will cause that thought to become more, 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 more. But the more important thing that is happening is you are becoming a more sensitive translator of that thought until that thought, that vibration, which then became a thought, which then you translated into emotion, now begins to translate into rendezvous with others. It translates into stronger ideas that flow forth from your own mind. It translates into other people that you're meeting. It begins to translate into the full blossoming of anything and everything you want. There is nothing that exists in your desire that you cannot fully manifest nothing if this time space reality has the wherewithal to inspire the desire within you you have the ability to translate it but before you can begin to do that you have to accept that you are a perceiver of the vibration and that's where so many of you get tripped up because you look around and you don't even realize that you've been perceiving and you look around at this world which is full of stuff and others doing all kinds of things and so you think it is more tangible than it is, and you think it's more about action than it is. Most of you have missed the point altogether. You don't understand that you are a vibrational being in a vibrational universe. But once you accept that, and you accept that you have little by little by little by little, some even before you got into this physical body, created a vibrational reality that exists in fullness, 
and that it is so close to manifesting in your experience if you would just begin to tune yourself to it. So all that we just said to you just now translates into something that's very simple. You just got to care about how you feel. You got to care enough about how you feel that in the early subtle stages of a thought not feeling so good or of a thought being clear and you having clarity and then you beginning to feel it getting a weaker and weaker signal because you are introducing static to the equation. Once you begin to accept that everything in this universe is vibrational and is ordered by this law of attraction, once you understand that and you begin to think and feel deliberately, now you can take a small idea almost as soon as it occurs to you and you can foster it by focusing on it with the intent of feeling good as you do. And you can watch it blossom right before your eyes into things that most people would call magical. It isn't magical. It is just a conscious, deliberate utilization of the laws of the universe and the guidance system that you were born with in order to hold yourself in a vibrational frequency pattern enough that you can begin to perceive as you are meant to perceive, you see. And the thing about this is, don't worry that you will begin to create things that others can't see because they will gain enough momentum that everyone will see them. And then you will be standing in that crowd of those who are the receivers of things that you want with so many standing outside of that crowd who are receiving everything they want, beginning to assign all kinds of bogus reasons to your success. They'll say that you were lucky. No, you weren't. You were focused. They will say that you must have been born under the right star. Well, everyone was. They'll say that you must have been good in a past life. Irrelevant. Irrelevant, but true. You all were. You are vibrational beings who live in a vibrational universe. And we think that it's time for you to accept your vibrational nature and learn to use the tool, the emotional guidance tool that you were born with that lets you tune yourself deliberately to the frequency that allows you to perceive the life that you want to live, you see. It's so fun to live on purpose. And while so many people are doing all right, living by default, because there's enough good stuff around to observe, to hope for, and to dream for, most of all, what we desire for you is the freedom that comes only when you gain control of your own vibration. That's the freedom that you want. The freedom to feel as good as you mean to feel, no matter what's going on anywhere around you, you see. So, almost everyone is offering their vibration in response to what they are observing. Almost everyone is living a rather conditional love experience and we want to say to you that in most cases you are looking for love in all the wrong places because where it is is in the harmonics between you and you the relationship that you must foster the relationship that you were born knowing about is the relationship between the source and you here in your physical body between that inner being part of you some refer it to you as your soul we call it your inner being, but it is that source energy. It's that expanded version of you that has been expanding even today with different things that you've been thinking about and experiencing. So as you are seeking relationship with that relationship first, if the relationship between you and who you really are is primary to you, if feeling good matters most to you, then everything else will fall into place. Most humans who you know and most humans who you are are living a rather conditional response to life. So if you look at something that feels good, you feel good. If you look at something that you want or like, it feels good. But if you look at something that you don't want or like, it doesn't feel good. You're responding to the condition and that's the way it should be. We don't ever want you to find yourself deliberately trying to look at something unwanted and make yourself feel good. We said to Esther the other day, as she was trying to make herself feel good about something that she just did not feel good about, Esther, do you want to do a focus wheel on eating something that you don't want to eat? 
Do you think if you do enough focus wheels that you are suddenly begin to want to devour this thing that you really don't find pleasing? Do you think that's what we're talking about? It isn't what we're talking about. We're not trying to get you to like things you don't like. We want you to use your guidance in order to gravitate toward things that you do like. We just don't want you to need the condition to be exactly the way you want it to be before you can feel good. That conditional love will never work for you because it's backwards. We just explained to you why. There is the vibration which becomes the thought and the emotion and then it becomes the condition. But if you need the condition to be there before you can find the vibration, can you see how backwards that is? Also, it takes some time usually. There is an evolution that takes place. So sometimes there is this buffer of time before you are ready to perceive the full manifested version of it. So if you need the full manifested version of it before you can feel good, do you understand what that means? You're not going to be feeling good for quite a while. Do you feel how backwards that is? But if we can convince you that it is the feeling that you're going for and we can show you how instantaneously or nearly so you can find the feeling of something then you're home free because once you hone in on the feeling of it and you're able to focus enough that you can keep that feeling present within you then the manifestation of it is very short to come do you follow that that's the best explanation of why you're wanting to focus upon the thought of it and find the emotion of it our physical friends that's you don't really like this conversation very much usually because you want to translate it into this oh abraham you just want us to feel good about not having that thing we want and we say yes it's true we do we want you to focus upon the essence of it and find the vibrational essence of it and find the pleasure from the vibrational essence of it because we know what's coming next and also we think it's nice to feel good now don't you and anyway can you think of anything that you want whether it's a relationship or a material object a circumstance or an event a pile of money can you think of anything that you want that is for any other reason other than you think you will feel better or feel good in the having of it so if you can show yourself how quickly you can focus yourself into feeling good what's going to happen is you're going to feel good way more often you're going to find that freedom that only comes from feeling good because freedom that you're looking for is the freedom from the oppression of the resistance that you are introducing into the equation can you imagine how wonderful it is when you are feeling good so much more of the time catching in the early subtle stages the vibrational discord and then can you imagine the momentum that ensues as the details of the life that you've been carving out begin to flow in to manifested perceived experience by you those who are watching from the outside of this knowledge will say to you what magic beans have you been swallowing i just barely heard you begin talking about that and already it is something that is fully manifested in your experience and while they may not understand as you explain to them you may want to say to them i stopped worrying about having the thing i didn't have and i started finding the feeling of why i wanted it and as i focused upon the feeling of it it was as if i had it and then before i turned around there it was if you like this video don't forget to subscribe we'll see you in the next